Carl Jung revolutionized our understanding of the world when he introduced the concept of synchronicity. Seeing 1111 might not be a mere coincidence, but rather a meaningful event that reflects a deeper pattern or connection. Tesla's ideas about the fundamental interconnectedness of all things through energy can be applied to understand how an apparently arbitrary moment, like seeing 11 past 11 on a clock, can hold deeper significance. It could be perceived as a moment alignment of internal and external energies. If Tesla were to contemplate on 11.11, he might suggest that such numerical repetition represents a particular frequency or vibration that momentarily captures our attention, compelling us to consider its potential significance. In Tesla's view, the universe communicates through energy, and something like seeing 11.11 could be a glimpse of this cosmic language. Jung's fascination with synchronicity stemmed from his lifelong exploration of the human psyche and its interaction with the world. Influenced by his study of Eastern philosophies, quantum physics and the depths of the unconscious mind, Jung postulated that there exists a form of cosmic intelligence, an underlying layer of reality where matter and psyche coexist. He believed that events in the outer world could mirror the inner state of the individual, particularly during significant periods of emotional or psychological transformation. According to Jung, synchronicity is more than just happenstance. It's the universe's way of communicating with us through signs, symbols and events. Jung himself recounted a startling example during a therapy session. A patient was recounting a dream she had about a golden scarab, a symbol she deemed highly important but irrelevant to her life. Just then, a tapping noise emerged from the window and upon opening it, a scarab beetle flew into the room. For Jung, this was no mere coincidence. It was a meaningful event connecting inner and outer realities, explained only through the phenomenon of energy. In the realm of energy, the archetypes play a significant role. These universal symbols or themes like the hero, the mother, the wise old man exist in what Jung called the collective unconscious, shared across cultures and times. When a person undergoes a transformative experience, often these archetypes activate, sending ripples into the world. In other words, the activated energy might draw towards itself events, situations or people that resonate with it, manifesting as synchronicities. But how does one make sense of these synchronistic events? The key is awareness and interpretation. Like a dream, a synchronistic event presents a riddle, a clue about the individual's emotional or spiritual state. The event becomes a mirror, reflecting the dynamics of the unconscious mind and offering an opportunity for growth or change. One needs to be attentive, open and willing to delve deep into the meaning behind the event to unravel its significance. This practice of interpreting the synchronicities could be likened to reading a secret language, deciphering codes that lead to a better understanding of oneself and the world. Jung's idea of synchronicity opens up a rich tapestry of possibilities for understanding the interplay between the mind and the universe. It suggests that we live in a world far more interconnected and meaningful than what meets the eye, a world where events, thoughts and emotions are bound together by a mysterious yet purposeful force of energy. As we navigate through life's complexities, understanding the concept of synchronicity can serve as a compass guiding us towards a deeper, more enlightened state of being. Let's delve into real-world examples that bring this intriguing concept to life. Dreams and reality. Imagine you dream of an old friend whom you haven't spoken to in years. The dream is vivid, almost as if sending a message. The next day your phone rings and it's that very friend reaching out to reconnect. The emotional charge of the dream and the subsequent call make it a perfect example of synchronicity where internal and external worlds collide in a meaningful way. Animal encounters. You've been wrestling with a significant decision, pondering which path to take. Suddenly, an owl flies across your path while you're on a walk. In many cultures, the owl is a symbol of wisdom. Could this be a nudge from the universe to tap into your inner wisdom? Repeated numbers. 
The appearance of repeated numbers often occurs during times of transition, change or emotional upheaval. Let's say you're navigating a particularly challenging period in your life. Maybe you're contemplating a career change or you're in the midst of a complicated relationship. Suddenly, you notice the number sequence 1111 popping up everywhere. First, it's on your phone when you check the time. Then, you see it on a license plate while stuck in traffic. Finally, your shopping receipt totals $11.11. .11. These repeated appearances prompt a feeling that goes beyond mere curiosity. It's as if the universe is trying to tell you something. Some people interpret these number sequences using the framework of numerology, a belief in the divine or mystical relationship between numbers and the natural world. In numerology, the number 11 is often considered a master number, signifying intuition, spiritual insight and enlightenment. When repeated as 1111, its significance is amplified, often interpreted as a wake-up call to tune into your inner wisdom or to pay attention to emerging opportunities. For others, repeat numbers serve as anchors, reminding them to be present and focused. In the chaos of daily life, it's easy to become preoccupied with worries about the past or anxieties about the future. Seeing a repetitive number sequence can act like a gentle tap on the shoulder, a prompt to pause, breathe and recenter. However, the interpretation of repeated numbers can be deeply personal and may differ from person to person. What's crucial is the emotional or psychological state of the individuals at the time the number appears. The resonance of the numbers may unlock intuitive insights or reinforce a decision you're about to make. In essence, these numbers become meaningful only when you interact with your unique life context and internal state. Moreover, skeptics argue that our brains are wired to recognize patterns and assign meaning to them, thus explaining the repeated numbers as a form of cognitive bias. Yet, even if one adopts a skeptical view, the emotional impact and timely appearance of these numbers in one's life often demand an explanation that goes beyond mere chance. Songs and Messages Music has a unique way of touching the soul. Imagine you're going through a breakup and questioning your decisions. Just then, a song that encapsulates your emotional state plays on the radio as if sending a cosmic message of solidarity and understanding. Chance meetings. You've lost a job and are anxious about the future. While sitting in a cafe pondering your next steps, you strike up a conversation with a stranger who happens to be looking for someone with your skills. This meeting seems far from accidental and instead serves as a timely guiding sign. Signs in nature. During a moment of existential confusion, you witness a meteor shower. The rare celestial event compels you to reflect on your place in the universe, serving as a symbolic wake-up call to reevaluate your life direction. Timely assistance. In a dark period of your life, perhaps struggling with health issues, you encounter someone who went through the same ordeal and provides valuable advice. It feels like the universe has sent you a guardian angel just when you needed it the most. Lucid dreaming is another phenomenon that surfaces at the border of our conscious and unconscious minds. Lucid dreams are dreams in which the dreamer becomes aware they're dreaming and can even exercise some control over their dream environment. At first glance, synchronicity and lucid dreaming may seem unrelated, however, both invite us into a deeper exploration of consciousness, interconnectedness and the blood boundaries between internal experience and external reality. Both synchronicity and lucid dreaming operate in realms that elude straightforward, rational explanations. Synchronicity is a dance of external events intricately connected by meaning, while lucid dreaming offers a playground for the conscious mind within the realm of the unconscious. Together, they serve as entry points into a more integrated understanding of the mind's potential. One of the most intriguing aspects of lucid dreaming is its capacity to inspire creativity and groundbreaking ideas. Nikola Tesla, the scientific genius we have already discussed in the context of synchronicity, is said to have conceptualized many of his inventions in a state akin to lucid dreaming. Tesla used the technique of sitting in a chair and holding a bowl in his hand above a metal plate. As he dozed off, his grip would relax, causing the ball to strike the plate and wake him up. 
This allowed Tesla to float in the liminal space between waking and sleeping, where he would visualize complex devices and theories. Tesla isn't alone in this experience. Many influential figures have cited dreams as the source of big ideas. Paul McCartney and the tune from a dream is a remarkable instance. Paul McCartney woke up one morning with a complete melody in his mind, a tune so haunting that he was initially convinced it must be an existing song. He played the melody for several people asking if they recognized it, but nobody did. Eventually, he accepted that this was an original composition and the tune became the legendary song Yesterday. Nowadays, Yesterday is one of the most covered songs in the history of recorded music, demonstrating the immense potential of dream-inspired creativity. Another extraordinary example comes from the realm of science. Dmitry Mendeleev, a Russian chemist, was struggling with the classification of elements based on their atomic weights and properties. Exhausted and perplexed, he went to sleep only to dream of a table where all the elements fell into place as needed. Upon waking, he wrote down what he remembered and that vision eventually became the periodic table we know today. Mendeleev's dream contributed significantly to our understanding of chemistry and matter and the periodic table remains a fundamental tool in science education and research. In the modern digital age, dreams continue to shape our world. Larry Page, co-founder of Google, recounts that the concept for the revolutionary search engine came to him in a dream when he was just 22 years old. He dreamed about downloading the entire web and examining the links between web pages to determine their significance. Page woke up and immediately began writing code to bring his vision to life. Now, Google is a household name essential to our navigation of the digital universe. Lucid dreaming allows us to consciously interact with our inner world, making it akin to the external cosmic mirror phenomenon of synchronicity. In a lucid dream, we can confront fears, explore scenarios, or even engage in inner dialogues that yield new understandings and perspectives. Much like synchronicity, these experiences are laden with personal significance and can offer insights into our waking lives. Both synchronicity and lucid dreaming point to a deeper connection between our internal state and the external world. In the realm of lucid dreams, our internal reality becomes a vivid, malleable experience. Similarly, synchronicity suggests that our external reality is far more complex and interconnected than we initially perceive. When we view these phenomena in conjunction, they create a feedback loop that begs the question, how much does our internal state affect our perception of external reality and vice versa? Next time when you see 1111, take a moment to pause and reflect. What were you thinking or doing right before? This could be a prompt to be mindful. Some view 1111 as a time to make a wish or set a positive intention. You can also use this moment to briefly meditate or engage in deep breathing to center yourself. If you're facing big life decisions, 1111 might be a cue to think about the larger picture. Whether you see it as mere coincidence or something more, it's an opportunity for a brief mental and emotional check-in.